Guru Padma Samvab and his eight manifestations are important figures in Tibetan Buddhism, also known as Padmasambhav. He was invited by King Trisong Detson to the snowy land of Tibet. The king called him to tame the local spirits, who were obstructing the construction of the great Samya monastery, appearing in various places and bodily forms. He guides beings towards enlightenment, reaching out to them in whatever world or state of mind they might exist in, such as the aspiration of a great master motivated for the liberation of all sentient beings. The different manifestations represent his own stages of progress and extensive dharma accomplishments. Elucidation of the Eight Manifestations Nima Adzer he appears as an ascetic or yogic adept, adorned with the skull crown and tiger skin lower garment. He is identifiable by his golden hue, caught vanga in his uplifted right hand, and the sun rays emanating from his left hand. He earned this name after teaching the Dakinus in the charnel ground of radiant beatitude in Kashmir for five years. He went Akanishta heaven and received teachings directly from the Adi Buddha Samantabhadra. Shakya Senji. He received the monastic ordination from Ananda, and he mastered the fundamental body of Buddhist teachings, reflecting his perfection of monastic purity and discipline. Shakya Senji wears monastic robes. His right hand exhibits the earth-touching gesture, indicating victory over the forces of Mara, and his left hand supports a begging bowl. Pemagyalpo. He appears in roll garb and holds a double-sided hand drum in his appraised right hand and a mirror in his left. Dissemination represents his role as the lotus-born youth, during whose rulership brought prosperity and well-being to Dhyana Kingdom. Dorji Drolo Dorji Drolo is red in color. He rides a fierce tigress and brandishes a bhadra in his right hand and a ritual dagger ferba in his left. Padmasambhav adapted this terrifying emanation when he taught the Dakinus in a charnel field in Khotan. He specialized in subduing demons and negative forces, and he is regarded as the precious guru's manifestation of Bhadrakale, the deity ferpa. Senji Dradog, a name given to Padmasambhav when he won a debate at Bodhgaya, converting many to Buddhism. He is dark blue in color, with a wrathful visage and upward streaming hair. He wears a skull crown and tiger skin loincloth. He also has a lion skin draped over his upper body. He holds a bhadra in his right hand and makes the threatening gesture Tarjani Mudra with his left. This form taught and subjugated Dakinus in Nepal for five years. Lodan Chakse, meaning super knowledge holder and the intelligent youth, the one who gathers the knowledge of all worlds. He is depicted in royal garb, exhibiting a Damaru in his right hand and a Kapala in his left. He is shown seated on a lotus, white complexion, wearing a white scarf with ribbons wrapped around his head and a blue-green lotus decorating his hair. Padmasambhav, meaning lotus essence, a symbol of spiritual perfection, transforming negative energies into compassionate and peaceful forms. He is dressed as a Nyingma monk, wearing the characteristic red hat and monastic robes. He holds a skull cup in his right hand and makes a teaching gesture with his left. This indicates his initiation into the Mahayana teachings as entered the Bodhisattva path. Ergyan Dorji Chang. This name was given when Guru received the Mahayoga teachings from the Adi Buddhas in Akanishta heaven. He is depicted here in union with his consort, Yeshi Cho Gyal. They assume the form of a Buddha couple. He is blue in color and holds a bhadra in his right hand and a bell in his left. Yeshi Cho Gyal is white in color and raises her skull bowl with a joyous flourish. 
Padmasambhav takes on the aspect of Vajradhara, indicating his initiation into the doctrine of great perfection. About this beautiful sculpture, this fine quality guru statues are beautiful representation of the beloved guru Padmasambhav, expertly sculpted from copper alloy and fully fire gilded with 24 karat gold. The statue has been finely carved and hand face painted with pure gold dust. These sculptures are individually handcrafted in Patan, Nepal by master artisans of the Shakya clan who are considered among the best in the world. These craftsmen are the modern years to century-old tradition of creating sacred art for use in temples and monasteries. About Jodi Handicraft We are a family-owned traditional business with roots in the making Buddha or Buddha statues and sculptures from seven generation in Patan, Nepal. We select and place products carefully to give you a large selection of Nepalese handicrafts at competitive and affordable prices our main goal is to provide you the best of quality items with reasonable price. We have the wholesale option too so that anybody who wish to order in bulk can order. Our contact information is given in description box too. Thank you so much.